So you want to know how to set up your alerts for your stream so that you can engage with your audience and have those cool gifts that pop up every time someone donates 50 bucks to your stream. I'm going to show you how I set up my overlays on my streams using stream elements and how to customize. Unfortunately, stream elements doesn't work with Kick or Facebook right now. Facebook is a question mark. Uh, they used to, but they just ended support for Facebook. But for Twitch and YouTube, it works for those. So let me show you how to set that up. So all the links are in the description for you guys as usual, but you're going to come over to streamelements.com and you're going to go ahead and log in or get started. You can sign in with the account that you stream on. Stream Elements has a bunch of different things that you can do with it from overlays to like straight up sponsorships. They actually give you strong sponsorships that you can do for your streams. We're just going to focus on going to the streaming tool uh, tab here and then clicking overlays. The first thing you want to do to set up these overlays is come over to the new overlay and you're going to click that. You'll get a blank editor. You're going to set the resolution or the size of your screen should be 1080p. So you want to think of this as an actual overlay. That's pretty much where the alerts are going to live. This is going to cover the entire screen of your OBS setup. We're going to go down to add widgets and you're going to see a bunch of different options here. For our purposes, we're going to use uh, alerts and you want to add a new alert box. So your alerts are going to live inside this box here and it's going to account for everything from follow alerts to subscribers alerts to tips, cheers, raids, and purchase alerts. And it should look like this inside of OBS, inside of this box area. If you go down to this little bell icon to emulate here, you can actually play a live preview of what it would look like uh, when someone follows you on Twitch. We can customize that, but let me show you how you can add this just as it is. It's already linked to your Twitch. So you can actually just throw this into OBS as it is. You wanna go over to save, and then you wanna name the overlay. Let's call it uh, Twitch Alerts. And you wanna go up to this URL here, copy that link to the URL. And then you wanna come over to OBS and go down to the plus button. We're gonna add a new browser source. You wanna go ahead and name it uh, Twitch alerts, go ahead and hit okay. And so in this URL uh, area, you wanna go ahead and paste that URL that we just copied over from stream elements. You wanna go ahead and change the width to 1920 by 1080, cause that is what our overlay size is. And you wanna go ahead and uh, check this box called uh, control audio via OBS. Clicking this box will allow you to be able to control the audio of the alert inside of OBS. Let's go ahead and test it. So you want to come back over to uh, stream elements here and do an uh, emulate. We're going to emulate a follow event. And you're going to see it pop up there. Actually hit it twice. And there you go. You have it popping up here in OBS. If you wanted it to be on YouTube, all you have to do is log in with your YouTube account and set it up the exact same way. But now let me show you how to customize your alerts. And this is where it gets fun. If you click the gear icon here on the side, you can get all of the customizations. Right now it has the default bling, you know, sound effect that it does. So let me show you how to actually change the sound here. It's really cool. Um, you can go in here and actually upload sounds from your library. Um, I just go to a website. I could probably link it down in the description for you guys where I get a bunch of like meme sounds and stuff. And then in set image, you can get gifts from pretty much get Giphy, you can make your own GIF. Wherever you find your gifts, I like, so I like the Boondocks a lot and I love Huey cause like, you know, his Afro and like, he's like, anyways, if you don't know what a Boondocks is, you, I'll, you, I'll put you on, I'll put you on. But basically, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of, uh, what is this, a follow? Yeah, I'm gonna use follow here. I'm gonna use uh, Huey here and it's gonna play this cool sound that I have. Let's see what it sounds like when someone follows my uh, Twitch stream. <laughs> nice. Oh, I have to save it first. So don't, see, I just made a mistake here. Don't forget to save before you uh, test Otherwise, it won't show up on your uh, OBS uh, uh, stream here. But make sure you save every change you make. And then we're going to play that again. Yo! Yes. And then you can see here, Holly is now following. And you can see Huey there. So as you can see here on the preview, the text is actually inside of the GIF. If you don't want that, there's a lot of different customizations you can do. 
come down to the text setting down here and you want to play with this line height. You can do like 50. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> I just saw it like just completely jump there. 50 is too much. 10. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. Okay, let's do five. And there it is. Awesome. You can also play with the size of the font. Make that maybe 100. And that's really huge. Let's maybe do 50. Uh, it's also really big. Uh, 40. Yeah, there we go. 40. And you can kind of see a preview. It's very faint here, but you can kind of see a preview of the font that uh, is going to be displayed here. We can do another. Yeah, there we go. And so here it's really cool. You can customize, change the font, change the colors of all kinds of stuff here. Uh, so play around with these settings at your leisure. The alert message here, play around with it and get the exact, uh, you know, style that you want it to be by messing around with the text settings, as we said. You can also do text to speech you just click that and enable it and <laughs> they have different voices that you can use like emma here and uh you could actually preview that Kariota has joined the samurai army but yes make sure you save before you exit out of here the really cool thing about alerts is you want to shout out the people who are liking and following and donating whenever they do and make sure you're paying attention to your streams monitor so you see those alerts pop up another cool thing that you can do that i didn't mention before that i can show you here is you want to go ahead and download the plugin that goes with this uh with stream elements once you log into stream elements and you get your account set up you want to come over to your profile picture up here in the top right corner and head down to download se.live. I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys for the se.live uh, plugin for OBS. Currently, it looks like it only works for Windows and not Mac. So basically, this plugin allows you to have the side panel on the side of your OBS setup, and it will show you all of the real time uh, alerts uh, for your stream. So you can see who liked your stream in the last few minutes and it, it pretty much saves all that data. You can scroll on this page here uh, and learn a little bit more about all the different things you can do with this plugin, but it fits pairs really well with uh, stream elements. I recommend highly that you grab this if you're on PC. And you can add so many different other widgets on your overlays from stream elements, like your previous video that you streamed last <laughs> on YouTube, which is one thing that I used to do. <laughs> You can do this, I don't know. It's it's fun to me, I don't. You can also s set up your chat, so like you can have your chat window on your overlays, uh, on your streams. This is how you set up your, this is how I set up my chat. So there's multiple different ways to do it, but this is how you can see your chat on the screen. And of course, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. In the description, you'll see a link where you can hop on a call with me and I'll help you answer any OBS question or streaming question that you have. Over here, you'll see two videos, one for PC, one for Mac, where I show you all of OBS and how to set up your stream, how to set up your mic and camera, and uh, all that good stuff. Go ahead and click on one of these videos and I will see you over there.